Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, January 21st, 2021. It's Football Thursday. We can't say that too many more times. Football Thursday at DocSports.com because on Thursdays, we release our football weekend and nothing changes this week. We've got the two conference championship games. One of them happens to be a seven-star play for me. It's a side going this weekend. It is a seven-star play. We are up over $5,100 on our current football run for those wagering just $100 per unit. We cashed the eight-star uh, playoff game of the year last week with the Green Bay Packers over the Rams. And again, on Thursday, you'll be able to get my conference championship seven-star play. Again, it's a side going this weekend. Let's continue this red-hot multi-month run on the gridiron uh, with this weekend's play. So that's available on Thursday. Uh, before I tell you what else is available, before we get to the free play in college basketball, real quick note, uh, we haven't had to say this all season long, but I lost a top play in college basketball on Wednesday night, a seven star. Uh, we were undefeated through the first three months or two and a half months of the season with those plays, but we lost last night. Uh, we are still up over $4,300 though in college basketball with our sides going back to November 26th. We're still hitting 80% with our seven stars and our five star plays and higher are cleaning up also, uh, hitting 64% of those for the entire season. So we'll look to get right back on track on Thursday. I have a play in college basketball available on my homepage at DocSports.com, a Thursday premium play. Also have the NBA went 0 1 last night in the NBA. We had the Celtics plus the points. They blew it down the stretch. Uh, we will have an NBA play. So 0 and 2 last night in basketball. We haven't had to say that hardly at all this entire basketball season uh, with college mixed in. Uh, NHL, we did win last night with the Minnesota Wild. Hey, it was just great to not go to overtime. I think four of my first five games in the NHL went to OT. We cashed last night with the Minnesota Wild. And I do have an NHL play on my homepage for Thursday. Real good spot for one particular team. And I think they're undervalued in the spot they're in. Also, one final note, I'm involved in PGA first round matchup action on Thursday. We finished up this last tournament on Sunday with the final round matchup winner. We had Leshman over Sink. And now we come back on Thursday. We've got a first round play. It's a four star play. Really like this spot for one particular golfer. And uh, we'll look to go up over $3,000 for $100 per unit betters on our PGA matchup run going back to August 1st. So you can jump on board on that also. But again, the star of the show for me on Thursday, I post that seven-star NFL Conference Championship Thursday afternoon at DocSports.com. Let's get to our free play. And by the way, no second video on Thursday uh, due to the fact that there's only three NBA games and one of those at the time of this recording uh, doesn't have a line yet. So let's talk about some Big Ten action. It's Rutgers at Penn State. Uh, Scarlet Knights laying a point as I cut this video. Listen, both of these teams obviously need a win. We do know that. They're both on losing streaks. But the Scarlet Knights have played a better brand of basketball. One of their losses came in a game that you know, they lost down the stretch by six to a good Wisconsin team. Another loss during this skid was a two-point loss to a very good Iowa Hawkeyes team. Meanwhile, this season, Rutgers does own wins over Syracuse, Maryland, Illinois, who whipped Penn State twice, and Purdue. Uh, they're decent when it comes to shooting the two-pointer and defending the two-pointer, which is absolutely not what you can say about Penn State. When it comes to the two-point shot at both ends of the floor, they're just a mess. They're 276 sixth in two-point accuracy on the offensive end, and they rank 333rd in the nation defending the two. They've allowed their opponents this season to hit almost 58% of their two-point shots. That's how bad it's been for Penn State on the defensive end. Couple of the final notes, Penn State doesn't get to the free throw line enough. Their free throw attempts to field goal attempts to ratio is poor. At the same time, they're allowing their opponents to shoot free throws way too much. So they're not shooting enough free throws. They're allowing too many, fouling too much. They've covered just four of the last 15 games overall. They've covered just one of the last seven at home. So listen, I don't think it's going to be a blowout by any stretch, but I do like Rutgers to win this game by about five or six points. So uh, recommendation, free pick on Rutgers over Penn State, our free play on Thursday. Don't forget, star the show for me on on Thursday is that seven star NFL conference championship side. I'm going to post it on Thursday for the weekend. You'll be able to grab that on my homepage over at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.